Hello guys, today I want to go over user input in Python as well as a few pip commands. Anyways, for user inputs, there are two ways of doing it, one in 2.7 and one in the current version of Python. It allows us to ask the user of our program for certain inputs and commands. In the current version of Python, we use the input method, whereas in 2.7 we use raw input. Anyways, here's a quick example. Uh, let me just get this int out of the way. So it'll ask us to enter our name, anonymous penguin, and it says our username is our username. Great. Now let's say if we wanted to work with integers, because let's just also print out print type username. Let's say we put in seven, I mean eight. It outputs 8, but it says that it's a string. That's because the input function takes everything as a string. If we wanted to input an integer, we have to cast it as one. So if we use int, and then enter 8, it says username is 8, and it's an integer. This, what this means is that we can use mathematical operations on it when it's casted as the right type. So we can use math on our input since it's an integer we can also do this with float or we could do this with complex one j and it's a complex number so this allows us to use mathematical functions with these inputs but if you're not using mathematical functions strings are fine as for python 2.7 i don't have it installed but instead of using the input, you would put in raw underscore input. And it should do the same thing. And if you want numbers like integers and floats, you just cast it in the same way. Actually, let me just see if this works. Nope, does not. Yeah, it's outdated, so it doesn't work. Anyways. Oh yeah, and Python stops executing when it comes to the input function. So once you place an input in here, the input function will stop looking for an input. Like once you press enter, and the rest of the code will then continue. Now for pip. I went over pip pr briefly in probably my Python introduction modules, but basically pip is a package manager for Python packages or modules. So if we want to install some built-in, not built-in, some native Python modules that we need, say we're doing like a machine learning example, we can use pip for that. If you have Python 3.4 or later, pip is included by default, but if you're using 2.7, you will have to install pip. Check if pip is installed, we can do the following. In our command line, just type in pip space dash dash version. And it says, hang on, let me uh, expand this out. Dash dash version. I'm gonna guess it says that it's, it recognizes pip. Hmm. Anyways, I'm just gonna move on. Um, basically, you should open terminal and check for pip over there but anyways are actually python pip dash dash version python 3 pip dash dash version nothing all right but basically this is how you check for the version. If you don't have pip installed, you can download and install it from https uh, colon forward, two forward slashes pypi.org forward slash project forward slash pip forward slash. Anyways, uh, let's go over some more pip examples. So say we wanted to install a package called camel case. We would do pip install just type in the name of our package, camel case. And it would download it, and there we go. 
and if you want to do upgrades it would tell you how to do it basically in this case it would say i should type on python space dash m pip install and then upgrade i'm using an old pip version so let me just show you that right now python dash m pip install two dashes and upgrade and pip and i'm already updated all right so if we want to use our package we can now use this example So we can just import camel case. Um, if I did import camel case without Im installing it through pip, it would not recognize camel case. The import function only works when a package is on your machine. So if it's not on your machine, or if it's not built into Python as a module, or if you haven't made the module itself, then the import function will not recognize it. Anyway, let's just let me just show you what camel case does because I'm not too familiar with it myself. I'm guessing it just makes the other letter capitalized. It doesn't seem to do anything weird. Oh yeah. The text input, they were lowercase, but I guess it just uppercases them. Pretty simple and bare bones, I guess. You can find all the packages available for pip install in py.pi.org. And if we want to uninstall a package, I would just type in pip uninstall camel case and then I would press yes if I want to remove it and if I run the code now it says it, there's an error because there's no module named camel case I can always reinstall it using pip so then it'll start working again and then I can use pip list and this will give me a list of all the pip packages that I have installed or that come installed and I have um, these ones and yeah that's all I wanted to go over regarding this um, in the next video we'll go over registration registry error ex ah, sorry um, regular expressions that's what I meant to say regular expressions that'll be my next video and then after that I should be done with Python and I will move on to what's it called yeah I will move on to GUI programming in Python Anyways, I hope you guys have a good one. Peace out.